Welcome to another Enjoying Art lesson. If you're a member of Enjoying Art, now you can come to our learning center to view the full video and download the reference. If you want to learn about the technique of using these two brushes, now you can come to enjoyingart.com brushes. Now let's start this painting. The water is a bit very soft. Inside the ducklings has very clear details. So let's do a little drawing. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the whole shape of the duckling. It will be like this. I'm gonna see the front of the the head. This is the face. Draw out those shapes and then we're gonna figure it out how we're going to modify it. And then the reflections would be directly under. I'm going to draw where's the eye. I'm going to reserve the highlight in the eye. And that's the mouth over here. Now I'm going to start the painting. I'm going to use a lot of lifting techniques in this process. Just get Windsor Blue Red Shade. I'm going to mix the color well. I'm going to have it on the top over here, like that. Here we go. A little bit more. Now I'm going to add a little bit red color. Like that. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit red color. Like this. So try to make it a little bit soft feeling. That's good. This brush is really work really well for big relationship. Here, I'm going to start lifting some color. Make a little bit softer on the mount. I'm going to do a little lifting the color. You see, this brush can really well lifting the color up. That's good. I'm going to lift up a little bit of color over here. So when you do the lifting, you're not introduce a lot of water into uh, the space, you just lift it up. The brush a little bit drier than in the paper. Okay, that's good. I'm going to start at the green gray color. I'm going to take the yellow. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to have a little bit red, so the green a little bit more uh, neutral. Okay, that's good. Make sure it's dark enough. Screen your eye, take a look at it. I'm going to have a little bit more red. Here we go. Now I'm going to take a look. I'm going to start over here. That's good. Coming up over here and have some color over here. Have some color like that. And you can think about mm, a little color on this side coming through. That's good. Now I'm going to have a little bit smaller, like that, and coming through over here. And I have a little smaller shape coming down over here. And also a little bit color over here and the top over here too. Okay, you can see that. It's very, very cool. The shape looks very nice and soft. Now I'm going to come in underneath over here. Here we go. Like that. A little bit darker. And here we go. And I'm going to take a look at coming down right underneath over here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to come in like this. Take a look at just use the, the corner of this brush. Touch it. Now I'm going to come in over here. Here we go. I'm going to have a little bit, just the little tip like that. Oh, that's good. I even like this better. The reflection of the mouth have the color coming over on the other side like that. I'm gonna do a little lifting over here on the face, make it feel a little, little bit lighter. Just use to my two finger, remove the wet, and come back over here like that. Uh, a little bit detail later, okay? If I need to. Now I'm going to just use the corner. So every time I come back to reshape the brush before I come back over here to do more. Now, you don't want to keep using and using it because the hair needs to be reorganized. Okay, that's good. 
start using this calligraphy brush. Now I'm going to start mix a little brown color. So get the red color. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the yellow color and have the blue color. Okay. A little bit more red. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Now I'm going to have this color over here. It's still a little wet, which is good. A little bit soft. Okay, like that. And then take a look at now the color and the back of the head. Here we go. Coming like this. If you're a little bit fussy, that's perfect. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that's good. Also on the back over here. And like that. I'm going to have a little bit more blue. And put a little color over here like that. Have a little bit more blue color. But that's good. And look at that little fuzz color. Oh, that's just beautiful. Get a little bit yellow. A little red, so a little bit more brighter, like an orange color. And mix this color together. Now here we go. I'm going to have this color over here. Coming in a little bit more. And then the side over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to come in around over here, around the yellow color. And then have a little bit darker. Get a little bit blue color. And this is good to get a little bit more yellow and red. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come back over here now, this color a little bit darker. And the front over here, here you go. Just use this brush, just open it up. Here we go, like that. And I have some dry brushes, like that. I'm going to uh, have the uh, uh, the the darker color over here a little bit later, but at this point over here, I'm gonna get some brighter yellow color. I'm gonna come to the face over here, and don't want it just yellow. I'm gonna have a little bit red too. Okay, I'm gonna get a little yellow, and have the little red color. Here you go, like that. I'm going around over here, connect to the color on the top. Here you go, like that. Painting around the eye. Okay, coming over here, and that's good. Now the front over here, now coming around, that's good. Now coming down over here. Now I'm going to take a look at a little bit red, get a little bit red. And actually the little red color starts from the corner over here, corner right here, have a little bit more red. And then radiator going through here. I'm gonna have this color connect that to the top over there and connect that over there. But the color get a little bit more and more yellow. And I'm gonna just use the clean brush, just lift up the color over here. Okay, like this. And I want to this have this a little bit lighter. Just use the water to lift up the color. Here we go. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow color coming here. There we go. That's good. Now coming on the neck over here. Also have this color coming over here. That's good. Like that. On the top over here, I'm going to have a little bit more red color. Even a little bit more red. And put it right here. That's good. So you're not just seeing the color. It's important that you're seeing the value. I open up this brush like a small flat brush. Here you go. I'm going to move the color. I think that's very successful for this round. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to come back here to take a look under here. Have a little bit lighter color. So I'm going to soften this a little bit. That's good. Have a little bit just through red color. Okay. And have a little red color like that. Keep it like that for now. And I'm going to come back over here to start adding some.
darker color. On the top of the head, I'm gonna have the color really dark, so let's get the blue color, not too much water. Just get the present blue or the Windsor blue green shade. Get the blue, red color, the Windsor red. Yes, here we go. Now let's take a look and you can put this color really dark. That's good. A little bit softer, coming down over here, that's good. And we're gonna do a little lifting very soon. Like over here, also need to be dark. Get a little bit red. Okay, here we go. That's really dark. There we go, like that. A little bit dark color over here too. And now I can also add the dark color for the lake. Yeah, that's good, like that. That's good enough. I'm going to have a little bit dark color over here too. And let's see how I move my brush. Now I'm going to start at this color, the brown color, connect that into it. And also going to add the uh, yellow color into the between those hair very soon. Okay, I'm going to have this a little bit closer, a little bit, the brown color like that. That's good. Get a little bit of red into it. It's not really, really bright. I'm just put that right in the between that. So it's just half the color coming in over here. That's good. I'm gonna have this a little bit soft transfer over. That's good. We're gonna start doing a little lifting. Now I'm gonna use this fry brush. Now I'm going to lift up the bottom over here a little bit lighter. I'm going to start doing a little lifting up over here. Here we go. Now I'm going to take a look. Like that. Now you're going to create a feeling of the hair. It's very soft here. Like that, a few lines. And also on the head over here. Let's see. It's a very simple. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit lifting coming in here. I'm going to put some colors on the mouth. So first I'm going to add a little red color. Very light red color, here you go, like that. And here you go, the shape over here, a little bit coming through over here. The good thing about this brush, I keep saying the good thing about it, because is that you can use the same brush all the way. Start with a little orange color, and then we can make it a little bit darker. Put the orange color first. Okay, on the top, now I'm gonna have a little bit gray color. We already have the gray color here. So I'm gonna look at that over here. It's good. Coming on the top, here you go. You see the value and see the color, and then there's no reason that you can paint. Now I'm gonna start at the brown color. And lower the brown gray color. Start this color first on the pattern. Start over here. Here we go. And going through the eye. Here we go. Right there. A little bit dark color over here. A little triangle shape. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little bit softer. You got to use the wet. I'm going to just use the brush softly bring the color into the surrounding. You see that? It's pretty cool and easy. That's good. This is only for the foundation. And when we put the final color, it will look very, very realistic. I'm going to have a little bit of color over here too. Like that. That's good. A little bit. Take a look at the direction of the hair. 
okay and over here and coming down a little bit like that and that's good add the darker color right into it and here we go okay here we go now i'm gonna start over here tap in the middle Here we go like this. So it look very natural. A little bit brown gray color right here. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit red color. Just a little red like that for the hair. Here you go, little here. Have a little bit blue color on the top over here. Oh. Now I'm gonna paint a little eye. I'm gonna take this color first. You can see now all the little details this brush can do. And paint around on the outside. That's good, like that. Okay, take a look at the outside. I actually also have a little bit brown color on the outside, around it. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit coming around here and take a look. And then we're gonna paint the inside. Okay. The inside is pretty easy. First, it's just the brown color. Get a little red into this color. This is a little bit too much red. So I'm gonna take this color and have a little yellow. A little bit more yellow, a little bit blue. Let's start with this color. Now let's take a look. We're gonna paint it around. And we're going to leave a little light shape around first. You can around over here. That's perfect. Okay, and the bottom over here. That's good. Now within the shape in here, I'm going to paint the shape except the highlight. Okay, screen your eye, pay attention like this on the other side. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna make some color even a little bit darker. I'm gonna get a little bit blue color. Dropping in, in here. Okay. And I'm gonna take a look at the outside over here. And then we'll come back to the nose. And I'm gonna take a look at, first with a little lighter color. And take a look over here. It's still a little wet, so come back with it. Don't touch it. I'm gonna have a little dark color on the outside over here. Here we go, coming like this. A little bit dark color over here too. That, that's good. And I'm gonna spend the time on the mount over here, close to the mount. I'm gonna soften the color, get a little bit softer, and have a little bit texture over here. And I have the texture over here too. Like that. That's good. After you have those textures, you make it look more real. Okay. Now I'm going to come back to the top over here. I'm going to have a little bit orange color over here. There you go. A little bit softer on the edge. 
Very good. A little bit soft. Very well. Now I'm going to do a little softening in between. So I'm going to have on this side, just use the tip of this brush, make a little bit softer on this side. That's good, successful. I think the body, it looks pretty good. And if we want, we can come back here, do a little bit more lifting. But let's do some to the reflection first. I'm going to take this color. If I want a little bit, a little bit more green, I'm going to take this color, have a little bit more yellow. And this is probably good. I'm going to keep a little bit more green in the middle over here. Okay, here you go. I'm going to have this color coming in here. And, and then coming around over here. And here you go on this side. So keep that reflection look a little bit lighter. Okay, now I'm going to get to the face. I'm going to have a little bit orange color. Okay, here we go. Coming in the, over here, I'm going to have a little bit orange brown color. Okay, now coming here. Now right, here you go. The see in the bottom of the the beak. Okay, that's good. You go like this. That's showing the face. And now we're gonna come back to the eye. I'm gonna make some colors really dark. I'm gonna get that red and with the present blue or the winter blue green shade. Now here we go. Now go into inside the eye and the middle over here. That's a pupil. Making sure this area is already completely dry. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of people in the middle over here. Like that, it's good. Now on the top over here. Okay, perfect. Trust what this brush can deliver. Now I'm gonna have that white shape make a little bit softer. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this color, maybe. Let's get a little red and mix it into here. It doesn't have, doesn't really need that much color. So it's a little bit, make it a little bit softer. So we don't want this white shape standing out so much. That's good. Okay, over here a little bit coming a little bit softer and on the outside over here make a little bit softer that's good bottom over here I'm gonna make it a little bit more clear also here a little bit brown color make a little bit clear and also the here over here I'm gonna put a little shape like this make a little bit more clear okay a little bit soft color now we're gonna come back to do a little bit more lifting. Right, now I'm gonna a little organize here. That's good. That's good. Another one over here. And now this painting is finished.